We have joining us from Abuja, Public Affairs Analyst, Kayode Ogundamisi. Good morning to you, Kayode, and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, first off, let's get your reaction, because we know you stay abroad. Welcome to Nigeria. Your reaction, really, to what is happening uh, surrounding the NNPC memo that is embroiled in scandal right now, and then Abdul Rashid Miners' reinstatement and promotion. Uh, thanks. I think the Buhari administration is um, at the moment where it's scoring an own goal uh, on itself. A government that came in on the platform of anti-corruption, fighting corruption. Uh, the president is known as a transparent uh, leader who did say he would have zero tolerance on corruption. The main scandal, the NNPC saga, uh, is I think it's a sign the president would need to actually uh, start winning the confidence of Nigerians by acting on corruption that smells within his, within his own inner circle. Uh, you recall we also have um, the grass cutter gate scandal where the vice president uh, was ahead of the committee and submitted a report to the president and it's over almost two months plus, nothing has been heard from the presidency. I think uh, this does not all go well for the country, it doesn't all go well for the anti-corruption campaign of the government, and uh, the government is fast losing uh, the, the, the trust of quite a number of Nigerians, uh, mostly supporters uh, of, the, of, the, of the president. In the case of the minor, you'd ask yourself, how can a man that was indicted for corruption who sneak his way back into, into government, and the Attorney General of the Federation will be the one to author a letter bringing him back, uh, not only to the civil service, but promoting him to the level of, di of director until the president sat not just uh, those involved, but sent a, si a clear s a signal uh, on the role of the attorney general and quite a number of people who, had, uh, uh, who hold uh, high positions in government. Nigerians would uh, start uh, asking critical questions regarding the sincerity of the government in tackling corruption across board, irrespective of who uh, these um, seeming corrupt people are or what political party they, they, they belong to. All right, uh, Kyle, before we even go into the Senate, uh, let's see, because all of these are under the executive yet, uh, at least for now, mm. but the body language of the president himself, remember when he came in in 2015, everyone was ready to... Uh, you know, fall in line because it was the, the fear of Buhari was the beginning of wisdom when it, it comes to, to exactly. To no but the body language of the president now seems he's not stern enough when these issues of corruption, money is all over the place, uh, a lot of abuses. He, he doesn't seem he, he doesn't seem stern enough uh, mm -hmm. handling these issues headlong. Yeah, I think we should ask ourselves, uh, look, this, this presidency is going to end in approximately 13 months or so. Elections will come up in 2019. Has this president been known to sack anybody found uh, uh, involved in corruption? The answer is no. Uh, why is he, uh, why does he seem to not be in charge when it comes to taking decisive actions? on the issue of, um, of anti-corruption. Yes, Nigerians do trust this president, the team as a pious man, but you'd ask your question, who is actually in charge when it comes to taking decisive actions on issues of corruption, issues of indictment of public officials who are close to the government? Look, even appointments, there are more than over 2,000 vacancies available in boards. Uh, there are people who are carryover of the former administration who are still in government. And the, the words on the street is that the Buhari government, uh, the Buhari uh, presidency are in government, but other people are in power. So when people say there are cabals within the presidency, I say to them, the box ends in the table of the president. Is the president and commander in chief? If he can re replicate the decisive actions he's taking on security uh, in the northern, northeast of Nigeria, on every sector, especially on the issues of corruption, he would have an automatic return in 2019. He needs to start winning back the trust of the Nigerian people. He needs to take charge. The fact of the matter is that this president, as far as I am concerned, is not in charge when it comes to some aspect of governance. There seems to be some powerful clique in the presidency who are taking advantage of uh, the so-called over-democratization of Buhari. 
Take the case of Mayna. The claim is that he's innocent until proven guilty. But if we're saying he's innocent until proven guilty, then we can call, we can bring um, the Zeni Madweke back from London, give her a rousing welcome, and say she's also innocent until proven guilty. And uh, so every, every money recovered, she'll be sent back to her. There's a need for this government to, re uh, to retrace its, its, uh, itself and win back that trust on the issue of corruption. And the government has achieved in a lot of other sectors. Right now, the attitude of Nigerian is that with Buhari, if you steal, you will go to jail. But the, the, the story is if you steal and you're known to be close to the president, uh -huh. the president might be slow to act. So if the president or people around him are watching this program, it is high time to take back uh, this presidency and lead Nigeria are right on the issue of anti-corruption. Well, many are even saying that if you know a member of the cabal, you are even more powerful than knowing uh, the president. Now, which one worries you more? That uh, the president has been silent since all this has been happening? Or that uh, it's, it seems clear to many that the cabal, everyone has been talking about, uh, has so much influence on the president that Many are even saying it's the members of the cabal that are ruling the country. Yeah, I think, look, those who supported uh, Buhari into this presidency, anyone who loves Nigeria, anyone who wants to put Nigeria first before President Buhari, anyone who thinks that Nigeria is more important than the APC or the PDP, and if you love President Buhari, it is time for all the supporters of this president to start speaking out so that the president will know that those who supported him are not happy with the direction of the government in terms of fighting corruption, in terms of even delivering on some parts of the promises made. And I think because the president uh, is a man of the people, if you go into his rallies, is a common man on the street who brought this man into the presidency. It is it's time to win the mandate back because the mandate belongs to the people and the president represents the, the voice of the people. And maybe when he starts seeing his own supporters start speaking out on TV, on radio, and speaking loudly, he will now t take action and uh, e eject this, uh, these characters who have more or less taken over government. Ask yourself, why are some ministers so insignificant that you can't even remember? You, we only see six or seven ministers that are quite active. The other ones just seems to are, are, are just waiting for the government to finish and probably go about their other business. And let us be clear, this government is making a lot of uh, progress in other areas, but it's been uh, uh, overshadowed by the scandals that are self-imposed. Why in, in God's name would they even think of reinstating Mena? And why do you even need to set up a committee? to see whether Mayna is guilty or innocent. If Mayna feels the Jonathan administration uh, or, uh, wrongfully dismissed him, he needs to go to the court. It is not for this government to either vindicate or absolve him or, 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 or do otherwise. And I, I would say the Attorney General needs to sit up. He is the chief law officer of this country. And if he is seen to be playing games on the issue of corruption, then it is sad for this presidency. All right. Uh, there are a lot of Nigerians concerned about uh, the probe by the Senate uh, when it comes to NNPC, when it comes to Babachi Lawal, when it comes to OK, when it comes okay. to uh, Mena and, and, and so whatever. All of these issues, when the Senate decides to probe all of this, uh, not so many persons have seen the outcome of uh, the, the probe set up by the, the Senate in some of these issues. Uh, what is your confidence in the Senate setting up a, a, pro, a pro committee to look into all of these allegations, especially from between uh, the, the case between the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources and uh, Baru, the GMD of NNPC. Well, the, the Senate have got oversight functions. They have the constitutional rights to look into uh, misdemeanor by government officials. They can ask questions and they can uh, investigate and they can make recommendations. But historically, even under this uh, Senate uh, uh, terms in, uh, term in office, these guys are just bargaining for relevance and they are able to actually do this because the president, the presidency and the executive branch that are supposed to take actions are not acting. They've not shown any, uh, any example of, uh, of, uh, of being decisive when it comes to uh, misdemeanor by public officials. So the, 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 the Senate, and you know, the, the Senate president is ambitious. You know, he wants to uh, show to, the, to Nigerians that if the presidency uh, sort of uh, uh, pretending 
pretending not to see these actions. He wants to present himself as someone who would um, take action. But we all know, historically, you never get to the bottom of these issues. They will uh, do, they will investigate, they will make noise, uh, they will probably go behind the scene and get settled, and then Nigerians will move on. But it is high time Nigerians take back their country. Nigeria wins their president back. Uh, the president will now start uh, uh, acting on, in the interest of, the, of Nigerians and get rid of those slowing up, uh, down his government. And let me say this. At the end of this government, they're not going to be talking about the, uh, the, the government of the cabal because the cabals were not on the ballot box when INEC conducted the 2015 election. It was the name of Buhari that was on the ballot box. And he only would answer for all the questions that Nigerians are going to ask him in 2019. And for us to continue to support this government and its presidency, there is the need for him to win back the trust and the support of a, a, a number of Nigerians. And if you go out on the streets, there are a lot of people who still support this president. I was in Kano, and people were saying, even if you get Niger if Nigerian president is caught stealing, the common man are still ready to give him an excuse and say it's not the fault of the president, it's the fault of the people around him. But he cannot continue to take the, uh, uh, the support of the common people for granted. At some point, Nigerians are capable of giving you extreme love, and sometimes it will change to extreme dislike or extreme uh, 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 hatred. It is not too late to win back the confidence of the people. He needs to act on corruption. He needs to be decisive on the uh, grass cutter gate and, the, uh, and those indicted in, in his presidency. Well, let's uh, bring in Foladile to tell us what Nigerians are saying about all of this. Nigerians have been reacting to even to morning, the minor Mike. Good morning, Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning. Kaede. Interesting points as usual. Yeah. Okay, so from tracking reactions online, I can Good. tell you two things for sure. Good morning. So the first is that Nigerians, you know, the question of the president's integrity has come up again. Mm. And the second thing is that, you know, the report's flying around that the Senate is under pressure not to probe the NNPC. Mm. And Nigerians are really reacting to this one. So let's find out. John Okolie says, the world is watching, so Nigerian Senate, be warned. Mm. Etopobong says, NNPC is an unfortunate and a traumatized, and a traumatized cash cow to the north, aggressively milked without conscience. No probe will get anywhere. Mm. Chine Duoyeka says, and this is one reason Nigeria can never work. Ethnic religious sentiments will always be above the economy, justice, e equity, um, hence failed state. Uche says, forces within and outside the Nigerian Senate are working to frustrate the ad hoc committee probing the NNPC $25 billion fraudulent oil contracts. And he continues, and he says, they have employed ethnicity and religion to frustrate the process. Nigerians are watching. Okay. And lastly, Eleri Idam says, I believe the integrity of PMB's administration. Please let's hammer on, let's, um, sorry, please let the hammer rather fall on any corrupt person or group no sentiment. Mm -hmm. Okay, Kaede, <laughs> um, let me put it to you straight. So Larry here says he yeah. believes in the integrity of PMB's administration. Do you, as a person, still believe in the integrity of the president's administration? Look, I, I believe so much in this president. I believe in his integrity. Uh, I have known the president for a while. I've supported and worked with him. This man loves Nigeria, he loves the country. And that was the man, General Mohamed Buhari. But in terms of President Mohamed Buhari, the actions of the government, the seeming uh, uh, over-democratization of this presidency, look, everything is not about so-called rule of law. You need to act. You have the, the constitutional power to act when it comes to uh, uh, indicted officials that are close to you. Look, I will say it on national TV. A lot of people feel the, uh, the, uh, the president's uncle, Daura, is running this government. A lot of people feel the, his, his AGF, that looks ministers have not been able to have access to him. Uh, some governors probably giving up on, on this presidency. He needs to win back that trust of the people because Sadly, if there's a choice, if the choice are there today, and we, the, 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 the people that were there before and, in, and this presidency, we are going to be for confused. So he needs to win back the trust. The fact that Nigerians really love and believe in his integrity does not mean we should be taken for granted. He needs to be decisive. Uh, the Buhari we know is a Buhari that has got zero tolerance for corruption. But anti-corruption does not have tribal mark. It does, it's not gender related. It is not relative related. It should be decisive. It shouldn't be about just PDP uh, folks who uh, put their hands into our national coffers, but also about APC folks who may have uh, 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 put their hands into our national coffers and people within the presidency. 
Yes, I still believe in the integrity of the Buhari administration. If the rules were still today, as the choices that we made in 2015, the choice I would make would still be with Buhari. But with a lot of questions asked, and, they, and the reason why most of us who supported him, I say we need to hold him to account as we hold every or any other presidency. Because at the end of the day, it is our country. It's in the collective interest of all Nigerians, irrespective of the political party they belong or who they support. Mm. Um, from what you said, really, and from what, what we've seen, yeah, you said at the end of the day, the people voted for President Muhammadu Buhari and not the people surrounding him. But then he wields the power. Many have asked him to use the power, which somehow uh, he's even silent, let alone use the power. Uh, members of the PDP that were facing corruption trials, uh, some of them jumped ship and joined the APC until today. Nothing has been heard of the court trials anymore. And people are asking, are, more, are some animals more equal than the other? So the question again, because now... The ad hoc committee set up by the Senate to probe the NPC activities is getting so many influences. Mm -hmm. uh, they're saying they're bickering already. So do you have faith in the democratic process, in the Senate committee, and even in the leadership of the Senate to do the needful? Because somehow the powerful people in the country are yeah. lobbying well, already. Uh, well, every, my, my views on the Nigerian Senate and Nigerian uh, the legislative arm um, are quite uh, popular. They are quite out there. Look, I don't trust them. I don't believe in the leadership. Uh, the leadership has shown over time that they would rather take the sides of corruption than take the sides of the Nigerian people. But despite that personal position, as a Democrat, we have to recognize the right of the lawmakers to yeah. probe into, to, to perform their constitutional role. And it is the duty or and responsibility of everyone who either likes or dislikes them to support them to deliver on those mandates that they, they that, that, that derive from the 1999 constitution. So irrespective of our position, we need to continue. Uh, folks on social media, uh, uh, analysts, supporters, we need to ask questions for them to be transparent. Look, this is the most expensive lawmaking organ in the world. And you don't have uh, uh, expert people who are overpaid, who live on corruption, who, who keeps changing uh, 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 expensive cars almost every year to be concerned about the plight of the common man. But it's our duty and responsibility to, uh, to make them function well. And despite the fact that the executive are now showing signs that they are almost not almost too different from the legislative arm. It is time we all have, uh, all of them to account equally, the executive, the judiciary, and the legislative arm. So my position on the leadership would not stop me from saying Nigeria needs to support them, to get them to act on, on, on in the interest of, of, of all Nigerians, in our national interest. All right, Kairo Deo Gundamisi, thank you so much for talking to TVC Breakfast. Thank you.